Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft LAN Party. So here we are on the Minecraft LAN Party server and it's still 1.14. Uh, 1.15 pre-releases have been coming out. Not a ton of changes except for bees, uh, which is cool. And honey blocks seem like a cool block. Um, but uh, we'll see. There's not even been a whoops, a spigot snapshot update yet. Whoa! Ow! That was dumb. Um, take you guys out and uh, so I don't, I don't know when we'll be able to update the server as it is let's go get police rods whoa 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 what was that oh, I must have walked into some fire on the ground that was dumb I got experience oh there's one blaze rod one blaze rod fantastic and no wither skeletons. I think I have enough wither heads. I could do a boss, a wither fight. I might go do that. I don't have a whole lot planned. Um, Barb is on. Barb makes things is on the server. Um, and so I don't really have any much planned. It's been things a little bit busy and haven't been on the server a ton. Last week's episode, I skipped a week, uh, but I have like another like part two of an episode that I, at this point on today's Sunday, December 1st, I have not yet uh, cut together. I need to do that and get it released. I uh, took a week off because I was a little bit busy and a little bit, uh, I don't know. Oh, withers skeletons uh, and a little bit um, I don't know feel a little down in the dumps in general and feeling very upset about this whole YouTube Copa thing um, and talking to a lawyer about it didn't make me feel any better uh, not necessarily a uh, you know federal regulation lawyer but a lawyer who Gave a little bit of insight into the way a law is written, and it's not. Oh, hello. Oh, I've got some fun friends here. Hi. Oops. Oh, where's he? Where's he? Where's he? What the heck? Oh, that was weird. He was running like a crazy person. Wow. And I thought there was at least one wither skeleton over here, and I was very incorrect. Wow. Crazy. Eat. I have plenty of food. Get healed up. Okay. Uh... So the the way the way the way the the regulations the rules are written the law is written and the rules are written because basically Congress passed a law that said thou shalt not collect information on kids without their parents' uh, permission and but then basically punted it to the FCC or the FTC whoa. Uh, in order to actually write the rules and enforce them. Uh, so the law spec stipulates what shall be done, but not exactly how. And the FTC is responsible for implementing, for writing the rules and enforcing them. Um, and I have, I have a personal problem with, organiz with uh, organizations such as the FTC and FCC uh, being fully charged with creating rules and enforcing them because 
They are not composed of elected officials, and they are often uh, appointed and hired, and they're not responsible to anyone. And once and they make rules, and the, the rules effectively carry the force of law, but we don't have any way of dealing with bad rules other than essentially lobbying to get those rules changed. And, um, and I know that lobbying and lobbyists in politics get a really bad sort of rep, uh, and understandably so, because it's oftentimes the people with the most money that get the most say happen to be big companies that just happen to have the most money. And it's a little bit frustrating to the common folk. And it often feels like the rules that they come up with don't really take anyone else's uh, needs into account. And as a result, uh, it seems like the average person kind of gets screwed or left out of things. Uh, so that's, that's no good. Uh, wait, why is this like this? That's actually, that's really bad. This will, oh, I must have had some wither collateral damage from the wither at some point. Just a blasted hole in here. That's not good. That's like really not good. That provides space for pig to spawn, which we don't want. <clears throat> oh, spooky sound. Super spooky sound. Yeah, look, I've got four Wither Skeleton Skulls, and I need, what, one, four, four Soul Sand? Let's go ahead and place this down. Oh, new recipes. I don't know what that was all about. Anyway, um, there are some things about the Copa rules which are really bad, and uh, I think they're in the 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 settlement with YouTube I think is also quite bad and uh, and it doesn't I don't think it'll serve anyone I don't think it'll do anyone any good all it does is let a bunch of people politicians and regulators say oh look we did something anyway uh, so I think when the, the full extent of things become clear, uh, it it will end up, they'll end up having to make some changes to the way uh, things are implemented on YouTube. YouTube is proposing to take, make changes that they aren't being required to change, but they're doing it almost seems like they're doing it out of spite to people who, creators who are trying to, uh, trying to develop followings and build community on on YouTube uh, and uh, and I think they're I think they're trying to make this hurt a little they, they think they're taking it out on creators uh, which is annoying bother me I don't really care too much the problem is that I have a small following um, just over a hundred subscribers uh, and I get you know I get a few views on every video that I upload Typically, it's, you know, three, four views, something like that within the first couple of weeks. Uh, obviously, I'm not monetized, I'm not hoping to get monetized. I don't really care. And and I know most of the people who watch my videos. I know them personally. Um, so that's, you know, great. Woo. Uh, and I have a website, which I will link in the description. I started doing that. I will continue to do that. Minecraftmaker.com. If you want and things go a little bit wacky and you lose the ability to subscribe and get notifications about the videos and you want it just go to the website plug that into your web browser's rss feeder or use an actual rss feeder a reader and uh, you'll get notifications or, or at least updates whenever a i post on there and i post on there every time i upload a video so and it'll have a link to the video worst case scenario that that's what happens um, I am strongly considering, even though I went and set my video, my channel and all the videos to, um, to made for kids, 
I, I'm thinking about changing that, which is potentially risky, but I don't think uh, that it will actually cause me any potential problems. Um, chances are if, if for some reason somebody decides that I'm in violation, that what will happen is I'll get a cease and desist and then I just go change my settings. Um, I think in the meantime, the ability for people to use YouTube the way I use it, which is I every day I go through my subscription feed and I add the things that I think I'm actually going to want to watch to my watch later playlist. And then I watch it and the stuff that I watch and I actually, you know, spend time with, I hit like on and then I, I move on. <laughs> and, you know, and, I, and sometimes I comment on the videos, not all the time, but sometimes I do. And all that stuff, if people are trying to do that, all that goes away. On my videos and I think that's that's a problem and I'm looking at other platforms was that a ghost block no that was just a little bit of weird server stuff anyway so I'm I'm thinking of doing that I have a little uh, almost exactly a month before the new rules take effect and it's gonna be an interesting thing to watch because I think things are going to get messy on YouTube and um, I think it's going to get really painful for everybody. Viewers, creators, everybody except the big media companies and I think that's all that YouTube really wants. I think Google wants big media companies to post stuff on YouTube and I don't think they want other people viewing it as a place to post and host their personal videos. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Okay, let me give Barbara a heads up and then let's spawn the wither and kill it. Three, two, one, go. Okay, Mr. Wither, do your thing. So anyway, there are other platforms and um, a couple of the platforms that people are starting to talk about and I will, whoa, loud. Uh, so I'm gonna look into them um, the Only real problem with them is that they are pay platforms Woo uh, Fairly sure I certain I should not have gotten two weather stars Anyway um, to nether stars other stars. Oh, and I got another head. But is that the same type of head? No. This can go in here. Ah, okay. Yeah, pretty sure I shouldn't have gotten two of those. Do not updated the data packs for 1.14 and some of them do behave differently. Uh, the multiplayer sleep doesn't work currently. I need to do something about that. Uh, so the uh, the drop the drop thing may be part of that. I will have to look into it. Anyway, uh, alternate platforms. I'm going to look at a few, and they are um, uh, they are pay platforms. That's the only downside. Is that uh, in order to go on them and view things, you'll have to pay. Usually it's a relatively minor uh, annual subscription fee. Uh, the thing is that uh, YouTube gets their money off of selling advertisers opportunity to put ads in front of your face. And, um, oh, somebody cleared out all the zombie flash, yay. Good for them. Gold star to whoever did that. I've got a few gold nuggets here left. Okay, cool. Anyway, that, uh... I'm a little bit bummed about the notion of somebody having to pay to watch my videos because I don't... I do them just because I kind of like doing these. 
it gives me gives me a hobby something to do but i don't know anyway uh that's that's enough about that and you're gonna be watching this best case scenario a couple weeks a week a little over a week after i record it um so we will don't know what uh so this is going to be a little outdated and I may change my mind on things in the meantime. Ooh, I need to slap all that, don't I? I need to slap all this. I've been kind of... Oh, Barb just took off. Uh, yeah. So anyway. Oh, she just like What? Hmm. Anyway. That's that. I didn't have too much to do. I do need to go in and I need to work on the villager situation a little bit. And at home, I need to um, build the carrot farm or potato farm, carrot farm in the pyramid. Let's go check that out. Um, yeah. And the witch farm probably needs some maintenance because things changed a little bit on the spawning rules of witches. So that's, uh, it's not nearly as productive as it used to be, but I have a lot of stuff there. So that's, I think that's probably okay. Um, step into the pyramid. So this past few days was Thanksgiving in the United States. And uh, I went down to to San Diego to spend time with 12 Power G's family and we did Thanksgiving it was really cool uh, we did Thanksgiving a day late um, uh, we sometimes do it a little offset just because it's easier to work with everyone's schedule okay these guys aren't changing I don't know if they can be re um, tasked or not and you're not changing either. I wonder if there's a bug. Was that me making jumping noise or was that, it wasn't him playing. Yeah, it was me. Um, yeah, so anyway, so that is, so that's that. Uh, did a nice little thing, family Thanksgiving. It was wonderful. Good to see everyone and, ooh, stuff. Um, <clears throat> and uh yeah that was that and then last week i was pondering the whole youtube situation so i didn't i didn't even get around to editing the rest of part two of the previous video meow hello mr miffles um let me sleep while barb is logged out so i don't know how long it is since i've slept Anyway, um, what else? I, Magic Castle news. Are you actually going to farm? Should be time for you to actually do work. <clears throat> uh, I, I am in training. <laughs> I've been accepted into the Castle Knight program. So the Magic Castle, they have a group of volunteers that uh, serves as kind of goodwill ambassadors for the Magic Castle. And they, they kind of act as greeters and... Uh, greeters and they serve as uh, tour guides and they help people out. So people come in and maybe are looking for some recommendations on what shows to go see and are interested in learning more about the castle the castle knights are there to help with that which is pretty cool and i volunteered was interviewed and was accepted into the program so now i'm in training so in the next uh few months four months i will be in training and i have some training sessions to go through uh which is cool and within that i will uh learn how to give tours and learn how to help with the various uh, various things and we'll be expected to show up a couple times a month to help with uh castle night duties so 
that's kind of exciting. Looking forward to spending more time doing that. Um, oh, Mr. Slime, stop fighting the current. Wow, he can swim against the current. The little one is too. Normally they can't. Huh, that's a little weird. Those guys are actively going after the iron golems. Cool. Um, so that's that. Ooh, lots of slime balls. Should craft some of those into shulker boxes full of slime blocks because that'll compact pretty well. Each of these, it'll take nine of these to make one shulker box of slime blocks. But that's kind of what we, that's kind of the ultimate goal. Slime balls are useful, but not crazy useful. Uh, so yeah, so there's that. And then I have to start getting active about a job search so that I can go find any job or, and then figure out what exactly is I want to do. Well, that's an interesting problem. The workstation. Is the workstation preventing... Why is he not picking up potatoes? He's got an empty spot to plant. She should be planting and oh. should be a spot right there that he should be trying to plant in. And he should be unable to do so. This spot here should also be too low of a light level to actually hold crops, but I'm wondering if having the workstation there is blocking the update. Huh. Oh, so weird. He's doing his thing. Interesting. Okay. Obviously, some design debugging needs to happen. I saw potatoes going up, so this is working. There's potatoes laying all over the place here. I should not be able to plant here. Uh oh. <gasps> okay, something is definitely not working correctly here. Huh. But clearly, some of the layers are working. There's a poison potato. Let me grab that. Interesting. Uh, 
So he managed successfully to plant a potato there. He tried to plant one next to it. I think that updated this one. Like that. And when he tries to plant another one here, it's updating this. Clearly things are working, so... Because I've got potatoes flowing up here. I have to figure out what is working and what isn't. Hi. Okay, well, we will we will sort that out, preferably before we build the other stack of farms, because if we need to make a design change, it would be better to do it now. Um, oh. Uh-oh. Why, um... Oh, I got some extra stuff in that hop, in that thing. It stopped picking up. Huh. Well, that's no good. But I'm glad I figured it out. There we go. Um, so now stuff should continue loading into the into the choker box. Interesting. Okay, well, wow. glad we found that. Okay. Anyway. Um, I don't, uh, that's all I really had to talk about, I think. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a shulker box laying down there. Um. Uh-oh. How do we get to that? There we go. Let's do this. And this is completely full shulker box. And that means I got a partial full shulker box loaded out here. There we go. Put this one away. And I can put my other potatoes in here. There we go. That is weird. Hope that doesn't happen a lot. That would mean I'm losing entire shulker boxes full of stuff. These farms are slightly less efficient now that... Not slightly. They are significantly less efficient now that uh, the farmers only farm during parts of the day. It's kind of annoying. Okay. Anyway, I think that uh, that's more than enough stuff for today. Um... Need to keep keep an eye on these guys and make sure that these are actually working. Um, but then, yep. Yeah, and then I've got other. I got the villagers villager situation back at the the villager farm to deal with. Um, so I've got other things to do. And uh, yeah, I don't think I need any more of this stuff. Anyway, that's it. Um, so I will be back with more, hopefully more interesting content. Um, but, but that's it for now. Thank you for watching. This is Theron. It's been Minecraft Land Party, and I will see you next time. Right, bye.